Hello there, wonderful people of God, people who have the wisdom to stop being anxious and to start making their requests known to God in the place of prayer. Yes, because Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7 makes us to understand that we should be anxious about nothing, but instead we should make known our requests to God in the place of prayer. Warm welcome to your weekly gospel encouragement program, Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reads, where we use biblical tidbits to encourage ourselves amidst daily discouragement. We heartily appreciate you all for your views, your likes, your comments, your shares, your suggestions, your subscriptions, your positive feedback, even to Mommy Reads quotes. We pray that as you continue to do so, may God continue to take you a step ahead in all that you set out to do for kingdom advancement in Jesus' name. We've also been getting many inquiries with respect to what can be done to subscribe. Subscription is free of charge. All you need to do is scroll up this video and at the bottom right hand side, you will see a button in red, subscribe, and you click on it and you are good to go. People have also been asking what it takes to comment or ask a question. Just scroll up the video you are watching and below you will see the comment section and there you can do what the Lord leads you to do for kingdom advancement in Jesus name. May God bless you as you do so because we have all become very aware of the fact that salvation was made possible because Jesus died on the cross of Calvary for you and for me. And so my brother, my sister out there, if you have not yet given your life to Christ, or if you have given your life to Christ, but are still restraining or retaining ownership of some areas of your life, remember to make it right with Jesus while you still can, before it becomes too late. Before we proceed, we want to use this opportunity to wish a belated Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to those who celebrated Mother's Day on Sunday. We want to say, mothers, we love you. Mothers, you rock. This is not to say that we don't love fathers. Fathers, we love you. But the moon and the sun each play their respective roles at their respective times. All countries don't celebrate Mother's Day on the same day. In Sweden, Mother's Day is celebrated on the 26th of May, which is next week. And that explains why Mommy Reads will be doing a Facebook Live video on Friday next week at 9 p.m. so that we can share and of course encourage one another. Remember to share the word and be part of us. By the special grace of God, we've been able to share several topics from slots 1 to 125, the last being the fact that Jesus is knocking at the door of our hearts. And so it is time for us to open the doors of our hearts to let him in, for him to dine with us and us with him so that our lives will be better than they were in the absence of Jesus. Don't let Jesus knock for too long so that he will not walk away. Praise the Lord. Today in slot 126, we have a topic, replace your worry with the word of God. Praise the Lord. Most of us, we are very confessant with what it takes to worry. And the Bible tells us in our main passage of today in Matthew 6, 25 to 34, that we should not worry about what we will eat, drink, or wear, and that by worrying, no one can add a single second to his or her life. Worry is the state of being disturbed about the answers to the question tags of life. Oh, who is doing this to me? When will all this be over? Why am I not married? When will I have children? What is happening? How will all this be resolved? What is going on? The who's, the why's, the what's, the when, the how's of our lives. And when we are unable to get answers to these questions, then we get worried. Then we panic. Then we begin to get into depression and into a state of confusion. And this worry can trigger us to go to wrong company. That will lead us to cults, to prostitution, to drug trafficking, to alcoholism, and what have you. Some of the consequences of worry is health challenges. We lose our weight. We lose weight or we gain unnecessary weight. We are lost in thought. We become alcoholics and what have you. Worry is never a solution to anything. Worry cannot add a single second to your life. And the funny thing is when we go to even these native doctors and all the wrong places for solutions we respect the instructions that they give us to the letter like a driver respecting the instructions of the gps or like if somebody who has bought an electrical appliance respecting the user manual to the letter or like one who is reading the leaflet of a medication respecting the instruction to the letter instead of taking this time to respect those negative instru in in instructions to the letter it is time for us to drown ourselves in the word of god first peter 5 7 makes it clear that we should cast all our cares to jesus because he cares for us. The Bible makes us to understand that in everything and every situation, if we call on to Jesus in the day of trouble, he will answer us. That we should come all who are heavy laden and God will give us rest. And that in Psalms 34 verse 5, that them that look up to the Lord, their faces shall be radiant and they shall lack nothing good. And so instead of lamenting, instead of seeking for alternative solutions, which are in effect not solutions, which are in effect going to cause us more harm than good, it is time for us to take that time to drown ourselves in the word of God because the word of God is a light unto our path 
and a lamp unto our feet, meaning the word of God will instruct us on what we should do and what we should not do. The, the word of God will give us peace. That surpasses human understanding. The word of God will give us peace, not as the world gives, but as Jesus, the Prince of Peace, gives. And so it is time to stop drowning yourself in worry and to start drowning yourself in the word of God. Each time worry comes, take that time to read at least a Bible verse. If you have not yet given your life to Christ, just bow your head and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Wash me with the blood of the Lamb. Give me the power to live right, the power to hate sin. And behold, you will be transforming your worries into the promises, into the solutions that are grounded and that are placed in the word of God. Praise the Lord. Take the time to probe your Bible for a permanent solution to that situation that is causing you sleepless nights and causing you worry and pain. The Bible is the road. Jesus the good, seeing the obstacle and heaven the destination. Shalom, good people.